What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I want to show you guys today on how you can hook up your care box to your entertainment system Bose by using a digital uh, Colox cable instead of the RC left and right analog cable. This will give you a lot much better crystal sound and also a whole lot better bass and also a bit more highs and trebles as well. Now by the way, you do have to set the unit on the satellite and cable uh, selector and also you got to make sure the satellite uh, cable uh, selector is also set on the machine as well. But I'm going to be using the fiber aqua cable as the digital uh, wire. All it does is it sends a beam of light to the fiber aqua cable and then to the Bojan to give you the digital sound but hey this is my suspellment this is something I want to do and see if it's going to work it probably will work that's fine and that also be a whole lot clear on some of the audio as well now I'm going to be testing out some of the audio you can test it on your uh, listening to it on your TV well, with the normal speakers or if you want to use your uh, entertainment Bose system with the bass and the speakers I'd recommend turn the volume completely off on your TV and also listen to that way instead of using your crappy TV speakers this will sound a whole lot better and yes I do like the way it's all set up and how everything is going to interact with each other now you do have to, have to make sure your uh, digital cable box has a cool or audio output and also the Bose unit has the cool axle input for this uh, while uh, for it to be able to work properly and it does sound pretty good. Let's go ahead and show you Guys my setup and I wonder how I did our thing and I uh, touched our thing up and show you guys You can also uh, watch movies and also watch TV shows with this uh, new uh, Colox or cable uh, Fiber clock or cable. Alright guys. Stay you guys on Alright guys <coughs> There you go. As you can see here is my 19-inch television, by the way, and here is my KOX right here, and here is my Bose unit over here. Let's go ahead and turn the Bose unit on over here, and let's go ahead and turn the sound completely down. Here you can see I have it set on the cable and satellite selector. First of all, we do got to turn on the TV itself, or we can actually make sure we do have it on the right selector for the unit as well. Now uh, we just uh, hit the settings and go to the system settings on the unit. As you guys can see, I do have it set on the cable and satellite input, and now we can go ahead and turn that off. And by the way, we can also make sure we Turn the volume down on the TV as well. And uh, make sure we're going to be using this uh, digital cable. Okay, now this is going to go on the back of the, on the cable box. This is what I'm going to be using. It's going to plug in at the back of the unit like this. If you can find it, or you can plug it out. It's just like a small little hole in here. Let's see, you guys can see what I'm talking about. You guys can see. Right down now, that's where it's going to plug in at. Right down there. Get this plug in right now. <coughs> and you take the own end of your cable, and you plug it. See, and there we got a beam light. And we plug it in the, the own side. And plug it in the back of the Bose unit. Just like that. See, just like that. Guys, you can see, there was she plugged in on this end. And, let's see if we get any sound. We should have everything all set up properly. And we should get some sound from the unit. You guys can hear, we got some sound coming through. Awesome. 
means you have other things set quickly and we also can also get the signal from the TV as well. Just make sure your TV uh, input selector is on the TV. It's uh, on the right input on your TV as well. Make sure the uh, make sure the volume is off on your TV. You guys can see I do have some TV playing, and we're just going to turn this guy off there. See, and we got some sounds going on. Uh, just to demonstrate, just make sure you have everything set up right for your KOX to actually work properly on the unit. You can see I'm using the digital <coughs> fiber hardware cable coming from the carrier box, coming from the carrier box and to the Bose unit right here. You guys can see it's like that. That's kind of cool. I like how it's all hooked up and it looks really nice. And just make sure if you are going to test it. So make sure you test the volume and make sure you turn the volume all the way down when you are doing the testing on your, your Bose unit before you don't accidentally kind of blast yourself out. And you see, here's my speaker setup of my Bose unit. Now by using the digital, <coughs> a digital Colex cable, like this Colex cable, is a digital, uh, digital device here. Sends audio from your carrier box all the way down that wire and also all the way into the Bose unit as well. Now, on how does that all hook up to the back of the carrier box? Now, let's go ahead and show you the carrier box real quick here, guys. Okay, this carrier box back here is where that little uh, wire plugs into right down here. It sends a beam of light through the little uh, Colex. Okay, well, like this thing. Okay, like this guy. You know, digital, digital audio. It plugs right into the bottom of this little guy here. It plugs right into it, and all that's all it's doing is sending a beam of light <coughs> through this wire. All right, through this wire, going through the Bose unit and giving the Bose unit. The artifact technically of having that sound on the unit itself where you can actually listen to good crystal audio, like a better digital audio instead of the analog audio. And yes, this also does have analog inputs and also one digital input. I really do like the way the sounds of watching TV instead of using the crappy. Uh, TV speakers on my TV. Now this was uh, typically a suspellment I was testing and everything does seem to actually work really good uh, on the unit itself on from the digital KO box all the way to the digital input of my Bose unit on how to set everything up properly. Now we're just going to go ahead and turn the TV on again. And we're going to show you on how we set everything up on the system itself. Let's make sure we select the input here. How is the input selectable? Now that's the, oh yeah. Now we just got to go to the AV. And we just got to make sure we use the go box. And we select the uh, selector and set up the TV guide on here on the digital uh, octal digital cable and we slow it to cable to satellite mode and that's how we actually get the uh, picture of the unit itself and other things seems to work pretty good you know some things work some things don't you know how thing goes here guys and sometimes if a freeze isn't locked up on you you just have to turn the unit off and turn it back on and make sure you also have it down to zero but the volume doesn't blast us out. Well, yeah, this is just a quick way to show you guys on how you can set up the digital octo cable setup on your TV. And yes, you do all going to have to make sure the TV speakers are turned down or turned off when you're also playing your uh, movies or. Uh, on your sound, on your 
device there because you get a feedback or an echo kind of thing. But it's kind of cool. I do like the way it's all set up. I think this is the way my setup is going to be on from the digital cable. Digital cable going all the way down to the uh, analog or the Bose unit just to give it a bit better audio and crystal sound. Now, the reason why I kind of did this was to just do a experiment on seeing which one would be better, analog or digital. I'd recommend digital, high quality, and also a lot better. Alright guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, please leave that comment down below, and also please like, please share. Peace out, bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.